Hey guys, this is Arkel here, and I'm back with another video, and um, hopefully you guys are happy that it's not like a month later, oh my gosh. Um, as I've said before, uh, I really, I deeply apologize for not being able to put out videos as often as I would like, but <sighs> being busy and all that kind of stuff, it's just a little bit difficult sometimes. I'm sure you guys understand. But when I do have time, and uh, I am drawing lots of stuff, uh, I definitely want to go ahead and put out as many videos as I can for you guys. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, <laughs> I just want to go ahead and say that uh, if you guys don't like Pokemon or you don't know much about Pokemon, uh, this whole entire drawing and everything I'm pretty much going to say is pretty much irrelevant to you. Um, it might not make any sense, so I don't feel bad if you guys want to just like mute the video and just watch my coloring, it's fine, because again, if you don't really know Pokemon, then it's kind of irrelevant what I'm going to say, so I just figure I'll, I'll tell you guys, you know, before I can get to the end of the video and you're like, Arkel, I don't understand anything you said, what is this? Um, <laughs> But anyway, um, I'm sure that most of you guys, uh, hopefully all of you guys on my YouTube channel, my goodness, especially if you guys know me from DeviantArt and Twitter and things like that, I hope that you guys know that uh, I'm a huge fan of Pokemon and I've been playing the games ever since uh, the very first games, like red, blue, um, green, yellow, that kind of, you know, all the very first games I've been playing it, Pokemon ever since then, and I played all of the games up till the sixth generation. Uh, I just, I finally beat Pokemon Y like a week or two ago, um, so that was really great, and it just gets me so excited. Like whenever there's a new Pokemon game, like it just, oh, I get so excited for it. Like I know some people are kind of like, I don't know, what's the word? Like, mm, kind of, I don't know, like. Uh, they don't really care too much for like the future generations of Pokemon. They're more of like, you know, I wouldn't say like first geners, but they think that there's way too many Pokemon as it is and they don't need to keep making more. Um, but me, on the other hand, I definitely don't really have an issue with it. I like I like that they're key, like keeping the series going and uh, I like that they keep adding new Pokemon because it really gives me more Pokemon to use and to try out because um, when I play Pokemon games, I... <laughs> well, now that I'm older, I should say, now that I'm older, I always try to use different Pokemon. When I was younger, I was probably like most kids when they play, and I just kind of use the same Pokemon over and over again. Like, I kid you not, I probably used uh, a Ninetales in every single Pokemon game I ever played up till like fourth generation. I always had a Ninetales. I have no idea why, I was just kind of one of my go-to Pokemon. Um, but as I got older, I kind of realized that, oh, you know, it's really boring to use the same old Pokemon and whatever. And I never even nicknamed my Pokemon when I was younger either. Like, they were just Ninetales and the third, like, <laughs> I didn't even nickname them. And, like, I didn't even pay attention to their genders or anything. I just used the same lame Pokemon over and over again. And uh, as I got older, I decided that was really boring and I wanted to branch out. And especially, I liked, uh, I wanted to use, like, Pokemon that weren't so, like, popular? Ooh, I don't want to sound like a hipster, but um, <laughs> yeah, I wanted to use Pokemon that like a lot of people didn't really give much of a chance to. Uh, maybe either because, you know, their stats aren't very great or they don't have a very good move pool or they're typing or there being better options, you know, in the generation out there or, you know, maybe they just want to use Pokemon they've used before. Like, I don't know. Not everybody likes new Pokemon. Some people do like to reuse the same ones over and over again. More power to them. Like, if you can use the same Pokemon over and over again and not get bored, like, props to you. Like, hats off to you, man. Like, A+, because I just get so bored. Um... But yeah, so I really like nowadays, I really uh, kind of gravitate towards like the silly looking ones or the kind of like quote weak ones uh, just because I think they're really fun and interesting to use, like maybe a little bit gimmicky. Um, <laughs> some of them, especially like in this particular drawing, like from sixth generation Klefki uh, and Furfru in my drawing here, um, totally gimmicky Pokemon that a lot of people don't like because they're so gimmicky. Um, but I really like Pokemon like that, that have like a sort of, they're just so weird and they just have like a random little quirk and it just makes them really interesting and fun to me. Um, I love Klefki, by the way, if you're asking, like, holy crap. <laughs> if you guys don't know, like I love keys and locks. Like, um, I know that's kind of like, you know, a, 
I don't know, like a common thing to like nowadays, it's like a trendy thing. Um, but yeah, I've always uh, really loved keys and locks and I collected a lot of them um, when I was younger and I would always wear key necklaces and all that kind of stuff. So whenever like, when I first saw Klefki, I was like, oh my God, this is my Pokemon. Um, <laughs> So I love it so much, even though a lot of people give it hate because it's a key ring. But I'm like, it's so cute and it has keys and it's adorable. And it's really good for fighting too, like in battling. It's amazing at setting up uh, for your team, setting up like reflecting walls and that kind of stuff. Um, but also, uh, I was really surprised when I played Sixth Generation because I didn't really think that I would like Furfru very much, which is the doggy Pokemon I'm calling right now. I honestly did not think that I'd like it very much. Um, I thought it was kind of interesting and cool when I first saw it, but I don't know, like, I didn't really like pay it much mind when it was released. I thought there was other Pokemon that I'd enjoy more that I'd probably most likely have on my team. Um, sorry, my cat is a huge diva and had to let him out of my room again, as always. Mm. Anyway, but what I was saying was, uh, usually when I like play Pokemon games, like, the newer generations like for the first time um, I always kind of just like have an idea of what Pokemon that I'll use that interest me either by typing or design or whatever um, but as I progress through the game I pretty much just catch all of the new Pokemon just to have them in my Pokedex and just to maybe you know give them a try until I get kind of my final team like just sort of you know like swap them out and see how they are just for a little bit and uh, every time I do that like I swear there's Pokemon that like I didn't think I would like at all, but just because that I put them in my team for a, like, you know, just a little bit to try them out, I ended up really loving them and just could not replace them. And um, <laughs> case in point is uh, Furfru. I was like, oh my gosh, this Pokemon is amazing. Um, obviously not competitively or anything like that, but to me, I thought it was really, really cool. Not only can you get its, like, uh, its fur trimmed in a bunch of different styles, um, but also it has this really cool ability that, like, um, I think it's called Fur Coat, and basically it halves um, any damage from a physical move. So basically when you think about it like that, you basically have double the defense than like than you currently have on your stats. So if you have like 150 defense on your Furfru and it has that ability, well basically it's 300 because you're taking half damage from physical attacks. So I thought that was really, really, really cool. And uh, it doesn't have a very good move pool, honestly, but it's still like, you know, really fun to use. And I think it's really, uh, just really interesting with the fur, like, you know, cuts and whatever. And um, yeah, so I was really surprised that I liked that Pokemon so much. It's definitely one of my favorite fifth, uh, fifth, <laughs> sixth gen Pokemon now. Oh my gosh, I'm still stuck on fifth gen, man. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know, but anyway, um, tell me what you guys, uh, you guys that do play Pokemon, I'm assuming that if you're listening to this point, then you uh, probably play Pokemon, because it probably bored you to death if you don't, and be like, what is she talking about? Um, but tell me guys, those of you who do play Pokemon, um, what kind of Pokemon do you guys usually, like, get drawn to, or often use on your team? Um, are they, like, do you pick Pokemon because they're strong, or because of their typing, or because of the way they look, or, or just tell me your thought process behind your Pokemon, and, uh, which Pokemon have surprised you over the years, like, that you didn't like at first, and, you know, after using them, or, you know, giving them a shot, or, uh, something like that, you guys have had a different opinion of them, and now you really like them, because a lot of Pokemon are like that for me, I swear. Um, so, I can't really think, like... I don't know, all the Pokemon that I have in this particular drawing are all of my favorites. Like, they're... I have more favorites, but they're all Pokemon that are really, like, you know, I've liked ever since the beginning, pretty much, or that I've used and I've grown to, like, Furfru as an example. Um, but, like, Chimeco, Altaria, Bronzong, all those Pokemon, like, I've always loved. Like, they're so weird, a lot of people don't like them, and they're just kind of weak. Chimeco is a little bit on the weaker side, but no one gives Altaria any respect either, because it's, like not a typical dragon type. People often forget it's a dragon type, so... Um, but yeah, I like lots of, uh, lots of different Pokemon, and especially ones that people often give a little bit of crap to sometimes, but... Anyway, so these are a lot of my favorites, um, that I've grown to love over the years. There's more, too, but... Anyway, so definitely tell me, guys, uh, <laughs> tell me your, like, Pokemon that you usually gravitate towards, too in game and stuff some of them that have surprised you over the years and stuff like that um but yeah uh so i don't really know what else to talk about um 
Sorry the video is pretty fast, but uh, it's kind of like... Uh, I don't want the video to be like over 15 minutes, and if I want to have all the coloring in one video, I have to speed it up. Uh, so... Yeah, I'm sorry about that, but hopefully you guys should be able to see what I'm doing just fine. I zoomed in the camera a bit closer so you guys can actually, like, you know, see all the details and whatnot, um, which makes everything look kind of gross up close, but uh, for, you know, learning purposes, I guess it's, uh, it's useful, I hope, but yeah, anyway, I'm rambling. So, as always, thank you guys, as always, so much for watching, um, and thank you guys for 7k subscribers. Oh my gosh, I haven't got a chance to thank you guys, like, personally on my channel yet. Thank you guys so, 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 so very much. Um, you guys are way too nice. My cat is meowing again. Um, thank you guys so much for that. You guys are way too sweet, and I thank you for all the comments and nice things you guys say. Um, it really means the world to me and I'm especially now that like, you know, I'm really busy and stuff I think I've mentioned this before but that's when it really counts like when you guys Stick around and you guys are still there for me even if I'm not always putting up videos as often as I used to or I'd like to so <sighs> Anyway, ooh, my feels um, but yeah, I'm pretty much done rambling. So thank you guys so much for watching as always and uh, Yeah, Pokemon. I love Pokemon it's So lame. I know stop judging me <laughs>